In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make more than $100 every single day in profit online with Shopify dropshipping so you can quit your job and live the life on your own terms. Let's find out. Hey, what is up? In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact strategy to make more than $100 every single day, step by step, that my students follow to absolutely crush it online. Shopify dropshipping has been really poisoned by a lot of these gurus and people trying to sell you courses and programs out there trying to teach you, you know, you can make $10,000 in a day, you can make a million dollars in a month. But the reality is most of you guys just want to quit your job, just want to quit your nine to five. You want to live life on your own terms. And that's all you need $100 a day or more, a little bit more maybe to live life on your own terms, take your take care of your family, take care of your life in general. And that's what I'm going to teach you right now today. And some proof of that here, you can see one student $3,300 in the month of April. Now we're in May last month of April, $300, $3,300. And this one right here, $400 in a single day yesterday. Right now we're in Thursday. He did that Wednesday. Absolutely crushing it. These students, you can do that too with the step-by-step -step strategy that I'm going to show you right now. So you want to make sure that you watch this video until the end because I'm revealing every single strategy that I teach my paid mentoring students. I'm revealing it for free right now, plus giving you winning product alerts so you can sell on your own store. But before we go on, I do want to invite you to a live training that I'm doing one week from now on Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. I will be live there. It's not a fake live. It's a real live webinar on how you can make more than $10,000 every single month in profit with the new model of dropshipping. The old model is done. What gurus are teaching out there doesn't work. I'm going to teach you the new model of dropshipping. Register for that webinar down in the first thing in the description. Just check in the first link, register, and you'll be live with me for a whole hour. All right, so what specifically is the strategy that I'm going to teach you? You first have to choose a product to sell. Now, don't start choosing whatever product you see out there that has a lot of sales, like some gurus are teaching. Hey, find a product that has more than 10,000 sales, put it on Facebook ads and start making millions of dollars. You'll be rich overnight. No, this doesn't work. There's no get rich quick. This is hard work, but you need to understand what works and what doesn't to choose a product, choose a product that solves a problem that people constantly think about. Don't choose whatever product out there. Choose a product that fits a market need and has multiple marketing angles. I'm going to show you an example right now, but you need to first do research on your niche or in the market in general. What are products that people consistently think about? What are problems that people have consistently? And then you create a product or you find a product, you supply that product that solves that problem. For example, this product right here, this solar waterproof wall light for the home solves a massive problem. And that is people can't find correct lighting for the outside of their home. Let's say you're coming home very late at night. You need some lighting. Maybe you have a pet and he's trying to get by your house, trying to get in or get out of the house. He doesn't know how to guide himself. Maybe somebody's trying to steal something from your home or trying to potentially like harm your family. You have something to guard against that. This is a, pro a product that solves all of those problems. And you can see here, it's very easy to install. Anybody can install it and you don't have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars, just like with those Home Depot lighting kits or whatever, right? So this particular ad has 16, no, 19 million views in six months and it's still absolutely crushing it. 67,000 likes, 9.2 thousand shares, uh, 9.2 thousand comments and 28,000 shares. And we can see in their actual website, the trend of sales. We can go right here and see they had zero visits in October. That means their site didn't exist back in October. They started solving a problem, went up to 20,000, 48,000, then 99,000. Here they went a little bit down and then back at 84,000. They're absolutely crushing it. They're probably making 50 grand to 60 grand a month, you know, more than 2K a day with this particular product. It solves a massive problem and it's only $25. So that's what I mean by finding a product that solves a problem. Doesn't matter how many sales it has, doesn't matter if it has two sales or 10,000. You need to find a product that fits a market need. What is a market need here? You need illumination for your home that doesn't cost thousands of dollars. Boom. This product covers that you need multiple marketing angles. For example, this particular product one, the first angle when you're coming home at night, you need some illumination in your home so you can get in safely. Maybe your pet can get in safely, etc. Second marketing angle. You don't want to be stolen from. You don't want to harm your family. You need that lighting, that protection motion sensor to protect against intruders multiple marketing angles that you can sell this through Facebook, through Google, etc. Now, a lot of people out there are trying to sell products with 50% off it on sale today, the best product in the market, get it now. That's not the way to do it. That was the way to do it four years ago. Now that doesn't work anymore. People are getting used to that. They see something 50% off only today. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Only today. Sure. 
But in this case, you don't need to do that because the product solves a legitimate problem. That is what my students are doing to absolutely crush it. Finding products that are, you know, doing a particular problem and solving it very, very easily and for a cheap price. So to choose a traffic source, should you do Facebook ads, should you do Google ads, Snapchat ads, Instagram influencers, whatever it is, there's a million traffic sources out there. How to choose your one. Ask yourself these five questions. One, does your product have a wow factor? Does it make you stop for a few seconds and a few minutes and actually look at it and see, oh, hey, this, this might be really cool, right? When you see this particular product and you're a homeowner, let's say, and you see this product in the beginning, let's start it off from the beginning, and then it, it just put installed everywhere. You're like, okay, what is this? Detects the movement. Oh, safety lamp. Oh, wow, it keeps my home safe. Oh, cool. And then you check the ad copy. You're like the perfect uh, solar light that will help you light up the night and add security to your home. It makes you stop. It has a wow factor You're like, oh, what does this actually do? Let me check it out more in detail. That's kind of what you want with Facebook ads. They make you stop and watch it for a few seconds that have that wow factor, Facebook ads. Second, does the product get searched a lot online? Do people actively search for this particular product? Then you want to go to Google ads. How you find this out is you use the tool called Google Keyword Planner, which I have pulled up here. But if you don't know how to get to it, just type in Google Keyword Planner online and it will take you to that tool. If you don't have a Google account, just create one, go to that tool. And here you can type in, for example, home light or home outside light. And let's see what pops up. It gives you suggestions for keywords that you can potentially, you know, target on Google ads and anything. Home outside lights, let's see, outdoor lights, 3,600, 2,900, Home Depot. See, people are looking for these lights in Home Depot. Maybe they're way too expensive. Now you have a market on Google. You can potentially sell these products on Google, not just on Facebook ads. Now you have two of them. Now you found out, okay, I can potentially sell them on both. Is it getting sold by major companies and major brands? Home Depot? Yes, perfect. Let's do Google ads. There's another question. If that, you know, if, if it's the case, if it is getting sold by major brands, go through Google. Is it a product relating to beauty and appearance? In this case, no. If it is, let's say it's like some eyebrow thing or, you know, an acne cream or whatever you're selling for beauty and appearance, lipstick, makeup, cosmetics, whatever. That's more of an Instagram influencer or Instagram ads product, not Google or Facebook. So this is how you choose a traffic source. It's a science. It's a small step-by-step -step science. It's not, let's choose a random product and let's put it on Facebook and hope and pray that it works. That's called hope marketing. You want to do proper marketing that makes you a lot of money. It makes you travel the world. It makes you make money online. This is what you want to do. You choose a product based on multiple things and you choose the traffic that fits that specific product properly. Before we go on, I want to remind you if you comment secrets, secrets down in the comments below and subscribe and hit that notification bell, you will be entered in a giveaway with a one-on-one -on -one consulting call with me for a full hour to review your store, review your ads, whatever you want me to review one-on-one -on -one with me. You can win a chance to that. If you comment secrets, subscribe and hit that notification bell. The winner of the last call was Joan White. Joan White. I'm not sure if I said that right, but Joan White. Make sure to send me a message and we'll get on a call. If you want to win the call, just comment and subscribe. And another product that I want to show you that fits this model that I have of first finding a product that solves a problem and then choosing the right traffic source for it is this mosquito lamp that sold the absolute shit out of AliExpress. People made millions and millions of dollars off of this product. As you can see here, 5,000 orders for $10. This product probably made people millionaires, literally millionaires. And this is a product that solves a genuine problem. People have a lot of problem with mosquitoes. They have like big brands of sprays and stuff. They're constantly buying stuff to help them, you know, not have to deal with mosquitoes outside or inside the home. This is a perfect product that solves that problem and fits the market need. One is for Facebook. It has a wow factor, it makes you stop and think, oh, this product, you know, let me see how it works. If you have a cool video, you can portray it properly, the, the features of the product. And then on Google, people are actively looking for mosquito killers. Let's actually type that in mosquito. Let's say mosquito lamp in this case. Let's type that in and let's see the results that we get. And we're getting 2,400, 2,400, 1,300, right? We're getting a lot of results on Google as well as on Facebook. It's a wow factor product. It's a product that makes you stop. And it's also a product that 
makes you, you know, it's, it's sold by major companies. So people are actively searching for a particular thing like that, like mosquito spray or a mosquito sapper fits all those things. You can do it on both. If it only fits one, if it's not getting searched, nobody's searching for it, not sold by major companies, then go only Facebook. Now what to do next, choose a product that fits a need in the market. Stop listening to guru. If a guru tells you, Hey, you should sell this product because it has more than 10,000 orders or because it has this many orders here or, or there. Stop. Don't listen to them. Choose a product that fits a market need. You need to start understanding how business works. This isn't an easy get rich quick scheme. This is a business model. A lot of people are making money with this model because they understand market fit and market need. As soon as you fit that market and you find out the right traffic source for that particular product, you will absolutely make it. And the last thing, stay tuned for next Thursday when I will do a live training here on YouTube. Make sure to register in the first link down below and I'll send you an email just to remind you next Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 9 p.m. Europe time and 12 noon PST time Pacific. You will be, you know, you, you essentially talk to me one on one for, a, for an hour on that training and I'll show you the exact step by step methods to reach 10,000 or more every single month that my students and my mentoring program absolutely crushing it with that training. Make sure to check it out. The first thing in the description, stay tuned for next Thursday. Talk to me one-on-one -on -one here on my YouTube channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you want to learn how to find products that make more than a hundred thousand dollars every single month, check out the video I did right here. Click that video in the next 10 seconds. It's going to pop up right here, this square. Click that button if you want to learn the new tool that I use to find on $100,000 products very easily in less than 10 minutes. Check that out. Follow the steps in this video and I'll see you in the next one.